What's up, Dirt Nerds? I'm George. And it is Dirt 30. Let's see what we're going to be digging into What's up, everybody? today. Yeah, still some snow on the ground. Not much to play with outside right now. Um, I've been really wanting to get out and do some detecting, go do some prospecting. Still too much snow. I can get up to the mountains, um, but then I don't have to dig through a ton of snow to get to the ground, and then dig through frozen ground to get to the gold. Or freezing water, one of the two. Either way is not going to be very fun or comfortable. I'll do it, but I don't want to. <laughs> so for today, I am going to be playing with a couple of books that were sent to me from my good friend Randy Hershey that I've been sitting on for a minute. They are my Kennedy half dollar books. I'm going to be showing you some of my coin collection and trying to fill up my Kennedy half dollar books. Uh, I've got two of them I'm working on. It's uh, 64 all the way up through uh, 99, if I'm not mistaken. So, and I've got quite a lot to go through. And a lot of them were from my very first roll hunt. Um, I got a lot of proofs, a lot of S mint. So, uh, I've got a lot of those covered. I don't even know if these books cover the S mint or not. I haven't really looked. Well, we're gonna find out together. I'll bring you around here in a second inside and I'll show you what I'm playing with. All right, so I've got the light on the camera because it's a little dark in my house. Not too much light coming in because it's dark outside. There's all my, all my halves, all sorted out by year, individual year. See, there's a lot of, a lot of proof. These are all ones that I found in my rolls, so they're all in capsules. I'm going to put some gloves on before I take them out. I've got a lot of Mantic coins. As you can see, there's a lot of Mantic coin flips in here. I have a lot of Mantic coin flips. <laughs> so, this is what I got. Now, here is the books that we'll be filling up. These were donated to me by Randy Hershey. There's the 85 through 99. And all I see is P and D. So, all of my S mints are pretty much going to be useless for these books. So I'll have to get another book for all of my S mints. So pretty much a lot of this is not going to go anywhere but right back into my little box over here. And this is just my, my little personal box of collections, slab coins, some PCGS slabs. I got four of those. Some proof sets. I will not be cracking my sets to fill anything um, just because I, I, I like them better as the proof sets. So, and then my, my, my meager silver stack <laughs> and my bills, all my coin, all my currency from different countries. Some American, I got some old stuff, some two dollars, some silver certificates, all that fun stuff. But today, I'm going to be playing with. And trying to fill up as much of these two books here as I got. 64 through 84. And then 85 through 99. Bring you back in just a minute. Let me see what we got to fill up in the book here. Sorry, I don't have my tripod set up in here. I'm in my living room. Uh, there's way too much going on here for me to do in my little tiny coin corner. So let me go ahead and start filling up this book. And I'll be right back. All right, well... Apparently I had a lot of S mint. I mean, these are all my extra 40% or 60 percenters there. Sorry, 90 percenters. 60 percent. Those are my 90 percenters. Those are all my 64s left over. I got about six of those left there. These are all the 40 percenters, 65 on up. And quite a few of quite a few of those extras. And these are all S mint. Those are all S mints, and there is no room for S mints in these books. So, as you see, I have quite a few open spaces. <laughs> got a few good ones in there. Uh, got some of the silvers, pretty much most of them, except for the uh, the seventy D. I do have a seventy S, but not the D. <laughs> so, still missing that one. And then, as you can see, quite a few others as well. Uh, only because most of those I just never kept. I had probably my, the majority of all these, but didn't keep them because they weren't anything special as of yet. Um, now that I have a book, I have, I have a need for them, but I'd like to find them, you know, at least, you know, in somewhat 
brilliant condition if I can like these ones but these are all S mint and there's only room for the P's and D's in these books so oh well it was fun I got something in the book got some extras good to go something to do be right back well all in all that was fun I filled up my books with what I had uh, obviously I can probably stand for some more she got to hit up the bank really tough getting half through my bank um, manager kind of said something the other day it has me maybe wondering I, I might I might go in and just have a little sit down chat with the bank manager because he's saying something about uh, ordering in a box of halves but then I won't have to get take them all at once that I can just take what I need and hmm maybe he's willing to order me in a box and then I can just buy what I need and just cycle through it all and maybe we'll see that would be awesome so but anyway I had fun I filled up those books with what I had add to the collection um, as you see I have plenty of S mint mark that the books did not cover so I'll get another book that covers the S mints um, so I have somewhere to put all my S mint mark instead of in little plastic capsules it works it keeps them protected you know I can touch them and look at them they don't get messed up so that works they were cheap I bought a, like a gross of them for like 10 bucks or something for a hundred hundred little capsules so it wasn't a bad deal as far as I'm concerned it keeps all my all my nice coins safe I have a fair amount of them just not the ones I need to fill the books <laughs> so we'll get there something to do just another thing for me to work on collecting uh, seeing that we are growing a little bit add a few more dirt nerds to the to the to the dirt nerd nation welcome all thank you all for joining me um, don't forget like I said there is this humongous 1100 subscriber gift pack just waiting for me to hit that mark I hit 1100 subscribers and all of this beautiful stuff will be going to one of you beautiful people out there all kinds of beauty coins in there pay dirts silver gold good stuff just gotta hit 1100 hit 1100 and I'll shoot that video and I'll be giving that away to somebody so I got some mail coming I've got two things already here yay mail call I'm waiting on one other little package uh, to show up uh, should be here uh, sometime this week I imagine I'm hoping well it's Sunday now, so next week, whatever, uh, should be here soon, and uh, I'm going to be ordering in some more silver, so I have some more silver to work with, because right now I have, I have two of my, my little palm bars, these are nice chunky bars, these things are pretty thick, they're over a troy ounce each, I got two of those, and I have two of my skulls, these are one ounce a piece, and I have one one dirt nugget left these things were fun to pour and they're just they're neat little stackable little little square blocks or rectangular they're, they're little bricks little silver bricks almost like a lego but no holes but that one is a one one troy ounce dirt nugget numbered number six three nines fine pure silver 20 bucks plus shipping all my all my ounces these all these ounces the only reason I'm charging that price is because that's what I paid for it when I got it I know the market's gone up a little bit the value for silver has gone up a little bit but I'm only charging you um, what I originally paid for it what I was originally charging because that's fair um, I will ask a little bit more for shipping because they up shipping it is now four dollars instead of 350 um, so it'd be twenty four dollars for a custom poured dirt nerd silver piece so I got the two palm bars two skulls and a dirt nugget if you're interested hit me up an email I do not have an eBay store anymore I will not be doing eBay anymore because uh, they did it was just such a hassle and a pain to uh, jump through all the hoops every time I'd go to do a post I, I would I'd go through I'd post and everything would go through fine I'd go to do another one and then I'd have to jump through a bunch of hoops and I'd get that through and go through just fine 
I go to post something else, and then I got to jump through a bunch more hoops, and you know, and I got tired of jump through hoops. So, bye eBay. <laughs> I'll work directly with y'all. Um, you can ask anybody in the community that's purchased one of my silvers. If you purchase it, I ship it immediately as soon as I possibly can, and you are sent tracking information. Everything is on the up and up. It's all legit. I do not, I don't mess around with with when it comes to my silvers. Or my or my dirt nerds, you know. If you if you buy something from me, you get it. Period. Um, I am still working, and I am sorry. I am still working on putting together all of the final Patreon packages to get sent out. Uh, the weather, with everything the way it's been, has just been. I have not. I've not been able to do hardly anything, um, as far as that goes. I have. I mean, I have things put together. I just. I have not been able to get to the post. I have not been able to do anything other than just go home or go to work, do what I got to do and come home and fare the weather as it is. So things will be sent out soon. I promise. And my promises are legit. You, there will be things in the mail for all of you Patreons. Um, like I said, it is, it, it, it I, I haven't got it shut down yet. I, I'm still fighting with that because I do everything on my phone and to shut down they want me to go to a pc and i don't have it set up on a pc and the pc that i have does not have antivirus protection and i'm not going online and putting in my information out on that system so um, if i can't do it via my phone i'm gonna have to call them and just say hey shut it down so that you know i think there's only one person left on there i don't know who you are but thank you for for holding out for me but um i i want to shut that down just that's just that's that's too much um, for me to deal with, with trying to do everything, home, life, family, kids, work, uh, and then still try to run and operate and do this YouTube channel and do these videos and all these giveaways and deal with the Patreons and deal with, you know, that it was just way, way over my head. <laughs> More than I was willing to deal with at this moment. I got a lot on my plate, so... Thank you all. Thank you all for your patience. Thank you all for being there for me. Thank you all for joining the Dirt Nerd Nation and 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 watching my videos and commenting and just being part of this beautiful, awesome community here on YouTube. Uh, thank you all again very much. I will be doing more soon. I promise. Like I said, I'm back. I'm getting back up on it. So you will be seeing me more and more and more. I'm gonna try to get back to where I'm every couple days at least. Two to every. No, no more than three days between videos. I, I just, it was driving me nuts. Even if it's just to pop in, say hi, sit in my corn corner, my, my corn corner, my corn corner. And we're going to do some talking about some corns. <laughs> you know how it is. I love you all. Good times. Let it roll. All right, everybody. Have yourself a wonderful evening, a wonderful afternoon, or a wonderful day, wherever you are. It is Dirt 30. Go dig in that dirt. Go hunt for some treasures. Wherever you can find them, go dig them up. They're sitting there waiting for you. Have a good one, everybody. See you soon.